Hello, my name is Dan Johnson and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be unboxing the brand new Season 9 box set in collection range. This is John Pertwee's third series as the Doctor. It's a continuation of Joe Grant's time on the show which I think means that all of her run is now in the collection box set. We have this gorgeous purple cover with, of course, John Pertwee on the front. We have a sort of sonic device, a Dalek, Sea Devils, Ogrons, a mutant creature, um, Alpha Centauri, I think that's correct. It's basically a running gag at this point that I don't actually know a lot of the episodes that I'm looking at. Uh, from this set, I can tell you that the only one that I've definitely seen is the Sea Devils, and that's it. I haven't watched any of those. I've seen enough of Day of the Dal Daleks, um, but I've not actually rest watched the rest of the series yet. So this is the one that's going to be completely new to me, um, as most of them are, to be honest. <laughs> so we go onto the back and you can see all of the episodes included in this set, including Day of the Daleks, The Curse of Peladon, The Sea Devils, The Mutants and The Time Monster, all 26 episodes restored to Blu-ray. And of course we have all of the iconic bonus features that you get with these box sets, including behind the sofa, location documentaries, perspective on directing Doctor Who, uh, we have a documentary here about um, stunt performers on the show. There's omnibuses, and I always love digging through and just finding little gems uh, in each box set. For example, on the Season 10 set, there is actually the episodes in which Joe Grant appears um, in, Doctor in Sarah Jane Adventures, rather, um, as an old woman, which was a nice little surprise. So there's always these plenty of little documentaries and stuff that I tend to find, and they are absolutely brilliant and well-made and thoughtful and watching them in an evening is uh, a treat. So let's get a bit closer towards the discs and we take off the sleeve. We are greeted by the full image of the Doctor there. And then on the back, we're greeted by this gorgeous blue effect with the TARDIS. And I, I'm gonna guess that's another TARDIS uh, of some sort in the background there. So once you've opened it up, we go to the left first and we have an image of the TARDIS with Joe and the Doctor, which looks lovely. I don't know why, but this image of Katie Manning is making me laugh for some reason. I don't know what it is. I think it's because she looks a bit like my mum and she looks really short. Um, also a characteristic of my mum. Uh, <laughs> but you open the TARDIS doors and you're greeted by another piece of artwork there, which looks lovely, uh, which I believe is from the first story, uh, Day of the Daleks. And you open that up again and you have the booklet, which is, has all of our information, production notes, etc., and of course, contents of the entire set, uh, which are always lovely and interesting to flick through. Uh, I only give a brief glimpse at it um, during my videos, but I should be reading that as I go through. And then we have a newly updated with a new logo, um, a piece of uh, advertising, basically. What kind of stuff have we got going on at the minute? We've got books, vinyls. Uh, audio dramas, oh look, big finish we even get in the hand in the ring now, uh, with providing artwork for this as well. Yeah, it's lovely, but as it's advertising, and I do this in all of these videos now, I'm going to throw it over there. Concealed by the advertising, we have a TARDIS, which I think really looks absolutely lovely. Of course, it's time for the main event, the actual contents of the set, the discs, and I haven't actually looked at these yet, properly, so this will be the first time for me, so you can get my initial reaction. So first we have Day of the Daleks, with the Doctor and Joe on the front. Disc 2 is Day of the Daleks again. Oh, it's like an omnibus special edition and stuff. Oh yeah, because um, this story had a lot of issues with its visual effects, didn't it, at the time, and they they restored it all up. And that is an image of a Dalek. I think that's very, that's very cool. I've got that Dalek, actually. It's a story I've not seen, but I have the Dalek. Uh, then we have The Curse of Peladon, with an image of the Doctor messing around with something. That looks a bit weird, that. I'm not sure about whatever's going on with the Doctor's face in that image. Then we have the Sea Devils, of course. The Sea Devils are brilliant creatures. Then we have the Sea Devils again for Disc 5, with an image of John Pertwee looking brilliant with that sonic screwdriver. Then we have Disc 6, which is the mutants. that I've seen those things all over the place. They are very, very strange creatures. I cannot wait to find out what that story is about. And then we have disc seven with the master and the doctor on. Lovely. And then disc eight, the final disc, the time monster with the winged beast, as I'm going to call it, with an image of the TARDIS. That's quite cool. I like that. And then what's, uh, what's behind all of that? Oh, an image of John Pertwee. Lovely. I think, if I'm not mistaken, 
we are more than halfway through uh, the series. So that's quite scary. Um, but again, these things are beautifully made. They are lovely things to have in your collection if you're a collector of this kind of stuff. I love going through them. It does take me a while. I haven't actually finished uh, the box set for season two yet. There's a few things I still haven't seen, such as uh, I think the Space Museum onwards, in fact, uh, which I shall get back to um, at some point. But I think I'm going to crack on with season nine for the time being and then come back to it later. Um, it's been a long time since I watched John Pertwee, so it's going to be good to get back into it. So I'm off to go and do that. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a like, subscribe if you are new, and I shall see you soon. Goodbye.